Okay, hopefully this one connects a little bit better. We're going to find out as we go. It does not appear to be doing much better, which could make for a very difficult day. But we're going to try. Please reconnect with me. Let me know what's happening for you if this is working. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those technically difficult days. We'll find out how it works. So thank you for uh, reconnecting with me. <clears throat> so I see that uh, we are starting to return. I'm hoping that this internet connection will be better. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Crystal, for joining. Okay, so we're all starting to come back now. This appears to be a little bit better for now. Thank you for your understanding. We're dealing with modern technology and some of the problems associated with it. So. I just offered a blessing for the message center. I know that it was very powerful. And I will begin a teaching on the message center in just a minute as the rest of us come back on the line. We had about 14 of us there before, so I need to wait for us to all return. So thank you for your patience. Yay, welcome Esther. Technology. Hmm? And so the message center, please share with me um, if you felt anything, if you had any third eye images with this message center blessing. Please share if you felt any uh, warmth or tingling or opening, insights. Thank you for all for finding me again. Because it's always good <clears throat> for others to know one of the most important things that I learned about in, um, in working with energy is that everyone feels it a little bit differently. Not all of us feel energy in the same way. We all feel it a little bit differently. And one of the reasons why is because of the uh, opening of our message center. How open <coughs> are we uh, to the soul world. How open are we with our practices? Have we been doing them enough to receive the values of what the soul world has to offer? When we open our message center, when we open our heart daily by connecting to the soul world, <clears throat> we will feel them. We will hear them. We will get a lot more uh, connection in so many ways. I'm going to check a uh, Facebook message here. Okay. So again, thank you for coming. Welcome, Arai. You're back. Yay. So now I'm going to do a teaching right out of Master Shah's book. This is called <clears throat> Dao Song and Dao Dance. And it's one of my favorite books. One of the reasons why it's one of my favorite books is because it encapsulates a great deal of the previous 10 books' wisdoms. And distills it down to some very succinct teachings that can be directly applied to help us to open our heart center more every day. Now in this book he talks about the seven different centers and he gives examples of the value of opening and blessing each center. <coughs> Thank you Leone for uh, commenting on your experience and I see Jota too. Wonderful. So I'm going to read this to you on the fourth soul house which is the message center. And these are the bullet points. The fourth soul house is the key for empowering, healing, and rejuvenating the fire element, which includes the heart, small intestines, tongue, all the blood vessels, and the emotions of depression and anxiety. <clears throat> so these are all related to the heart center. It is the key for empowerment, healing, and rejuvenation of the metal element, which is part of the lungs, <clears throat> the large intestine, the skin, nose, physical body, and related to uh, sadness and grief. 
So because it's in this area, it radiates out into the lungs and the metal element as well. <clears throat> it is also the Kiesel House for healing and rejuvenation of the circulatory system, respiratory system, lymphatic system, and the digestive system. So it's hugely important to quite a few very important systems. It is the Karma House. The soul, mind, body of financial blockages is expressed, expressed in the fourth soul house. What does that mean? That means where our, when we have <clears throat> um, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs around finances, it holds in here. It's tight in here. And so when we open that, we can open up and release some of those expressions, the incorrect ones. The fourth soul house is the key soul house for empowering the message center, also known as the heart chakra and in the center of the chest, behind the sternum. <clears throat> so for those of you that are, are new to the teaching, the message center is a fist-sized energy center, about two inches around, can't see it. It sits approximately two inches inside the chest, just behind the sternum breastplate. And it is a hugely important message center, or hugely important center. It's also for developing soul communication abilities. Many of you have come to this because I do a lot of soul readings. The soul readings would not serve you. They would not have the degree of accuracy necessary to serve you if I did not do a great deal of message center opening practices. It's directly related. That's why it's called messages, message from heaven, message center. So there's the connectivity there. <clears throat> it is a sacred powerhouse for the soul language channel. It is a sacred powerhouse for the direct knowing channel, the, the direct soul communication channel. It is a sacred powerhouse for love, forgiveness, compassion, light, peace, harmony, gratitude, obedience, and generosity, kindness, sincerity, and honesty. It is a sacred powerhouse for the expression and speaking of truth. It is the sacred powerhouse for developing Tao Song and the power of Tao presence. It is a sacred powerhouse for developing Tao song and the power of breath. It is a sacred powerhouse to connect with humanity. And it is the sacred powerhouse for developing the vital chi and life force. Tao song and Tao dance. That's just one little piece of wisdom gained from Tao song and Tao dance. So truly remarkable, and I want to welcome Kat, Kat and Irma, welcome, thank you so much. So now that we have a little bit better understanding of the power and the significance of the message center, then we want to realize what do we do to close it down? Because we know how important it is, it literally touches on every aspect of our life, from our physical health to our emotional health to the way we bring ourselves to others, and it also connects us to heaven and keeps us connected. But it's also the portal through which our soul is able to communicate with us. So when we are able to maintain awareness of the message center by staying connected to it, we can receive huge life-changing benefits. So I would like to offer a flow at this time. And this flow will be about how you can connect more to your message center and the purpose and value for you. Welcome Dove and welcome Wakia. Please receive this message. Dear the soul of the Divine's message center, the soul of our connection from our message center to the Divine's message center, dear the soul of all the different ways that we disconnect from our message center and from our connection to heaven the soul of the deepest wisdom that can be offered in how we can stay more connected to our message center and therefore to heaven. We love you, honor you, appreciate you, but ask you to please come at this time to offer a teaching on what we can do to open our heart more, to stay connected more to the message center, and to reveal any wisdom around how we disconnect and what we can do to stay more connected. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. 
how this is the divine. My heart is your heart. My heart center is the creator of your heart center. Why do I start with this teaching? It is because you have heard before I am never far from you, but you are far from God. This teaching has the deepest wisdom in it. I am always in you and with you because I am your creator. In being your message center, all that is truly required is envisioning yourself inside my heart which is where you are. By stopping your processes, especially those ones that are disconnected, those processes that are monkey mind thinking, those processes that are judgment oriented, gossip oriented, those processes that start with anger or fear or worry, those emotions that I understand you are having. But in those moments where <clears throat> you are experiencing these, you are straying from the purity, the tenderness, the compassion, the love, and the healing that I can bring you. The majority of your suffering and all humanity's suffering comes back to separation from my heart. If they could only recognize that by reminding themselves, placing themselves in their mind, in their emotion, in their knowingness, back into my heart, where I will bathe them with the greatest love, then the transformation of whatever they are going through would be dramatically faster. Your master has taught you four powers. Thought power is this example. You could position your body such that you are relaxed in lotus position in my heart. You could chant, divine love heals me. Divine love heals this fear. Whatever you are going through is your sound power. Your soul power is calling my name calling my service. I am never far. This simple practice, when employed in those moments that you are separate from my heart, will serve you forever. Imagine if we taught our children this simple practice. When they are not doing well at school because someone is bullying them, Ask them to close their eyes. Guide them to come to sit inside my heart. Teach them how to visualize. Teach them that I am always with them, that my heart is their heart, that all they need do is come to be in my heart, and I will bless them to transform their emotional suffering at that time. This simple process will of course spread out to the cause of the suffering and create release as well. The big way is extremely simple. I teach you the biggest way and the simplest way to align your heart to my heart. The more you do it, the greater and faster the results. As your teacher has taught, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, Taste it. I love you all so very deeply. Ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that very pure and timely message. You know, it's, it's, um, it's difficult sometimes though, isn't it? <clears throat> when we're in those spots, it's difficult to, to just stop and um, remember. But... You know, one of the things that Master Shah taught uh, all of his students, still teaches us every time, 
He says, always offer your food, always offer your water, your drink to the divine first, offer it to all the holy beings first. What is the message behind that? What, what is the deeper reason? <clears throat> Quite a few, I'm sure, but one of them is, it's an instant reminder of where you are from. It's an instant gratitude to the source, to God. And so, when I first started doing that, when he first taught it, I would say it took me close to a year before I did it every time. Can I tell you how many times I would have a spoon in my mouth and be like, oh, I forgot again. It takes practice to break the habits. It takes practice to break the habits of negativity. It takes practice to break the habit of relishing in that fear or um, getting out of a loop that tends to occur around that X that tromped all over you. The first part of the habit is recognizing it. We had a teaching about a week and a half ago about how to transform negativity. First we recognize it, then we send it love, then we chant love, peace and harmony to transform it and return it. Now we can add that by sitting in the Divine's heart. Divine gave us a very simple method that can be applied the rest of our life. Stop. Remember I am always in you with you come inside my heart, ask me to bless you, to transform the blockage, and chant divine love. Very simple teachings. Most of those that are watching, we already have divine treasures. Our divine treasures are not limited to the name that is on them. It could be divine love, it could be a divine knee, it could be a, a, something for our brain, our spinal column, Every divine treasure came from the same place. And that means it carries the highest healing frequencies and attributes. So when you want to transform something quickly, ask all of your divine treasures to turn on. Dear all my divine treasures, while I'm sitting in God's heart transforming this, this anger I'm feeling right now, can all of you please come? Bless me to transform this anger as quickly as possible. Bless me with your love, your light, and all your power. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They're all servants. They all want to serve. Immediately the light bulbs come on. You have a much, much stronger frequency and light blessing you to transform these blockages. So these are some very simple ways in which you can align your heart and soul to your message center. Now we're going to do a practice. This practice is very, very important. And it's one that truly does a lot to open the message center. It, it's related to a, a specific teaching that Dr. and Master Shah has taught us. And it has a sound power. The sound power is Aya, A, Aya, Aya Yo Dao. It's right out of the book that I just used. And when we employ the four powers together, when we ask our downloads and treasures, when we go to sit in the heart of the Divine for the reading that He just gave us, we can transform just about anything that's going on for us very quickly. We want to not be selfish with this information. We want to teach those others around us that are suffering. Just when they're suffering, let me walk through you with a very simple way to help this feel better. Imagine you're sitting in God's heart. You turn on all your treasures, ask them to serve that person as appropriate. You teach them these simple techniques and now you've transformed somebody else's life. Potentially have given them a tool to change their life forever. Especially if you tell them that. You can use this every time you have this issue happening for you. So let us do this together. Everybody, where you're at, we relax. We place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position again. <clears throat> we connect to the soul of Da Ai. We connect to the soul of Aya Yo Dao. And we ask for them to serve us. So repeat after me wherever you're at. Dear the soul of Aya Yo Dao mantra for opening my message center, for aligning my heart to the divine. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. 
I thank you. Can you please bless me to open my heart more? Dear my divine healing hands, if you have divine healing hands, turn them on. I love you. Can you please offer a blessing to open my heart center, my heart message center, that I can be more pure and aligned to the divine's heart, that I can be a better servant. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Remember, as a divine healing hands healer, you always say, as appropriate. And there's that other sentence that you always say, so make sure you say it where you're at. <clears throat> and let us begin. Ayayoda, ayayoda. Visualize you're sitting in the divine's heart. Ayayoda, ayayoda. Aya yo down. Light is coming in from 360 degrees, healing your blockages. Aya yo down. Aya yo down. Aya yo down. Aya yo down. I 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 yo down. Silently continue to see yourself inside the divine's heart. The divine comes to you so bright floating in from above pure light the greatest love and compassion radiating to you the divine says I am always with you my child make your request I will bless you now and you make your request. And the light coming from the divine so bright permeates every energy, matter, shen, qi and jing of your body. The light becomes laser bright at your message center. It is coming from the heart of God directly to your message center. And it is clearing, cleaning, purifying all the blockages. There is no possibility for darkness in this moment. It is too bright. Move yourself into deep gratitude for this connection with the Divine. Receive the blessings. Receive the light. Ask for forgiveness for anything that you may have done that has led you to make the request you have made. Doesn't matter what it is for. If you need to open your message center more, then maybe you had closed other people's. Ask for forgiveness. Be authentic. Yo, 
Daya Yoda Aya 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 Yoda Now bow your head nine times to the Divine. Offer the Divine your deepest gratitude for the incredible blessings that has just been sent to your heart, to your message center. Tell the Divine, I will remember. I will remember to call upon you to put, remind myself to come sit in your heart center to ask for your blessings. I will remember that you are always with me and I ask your forgiveness for forgetting. I ask for your forgiveness for blaming you being upset with you screaming at you because I was so far away from you and in pain please forgive me my beloved divine creator complete your conversation with the divine and slowly return and share your experience <clears throat> whatever you might have seen any messages that you might have received that you're willing to share any insights that you might have gotten from the very simple wisdom the divine has given us he created our heart center we are always in his heart center just come there and ask for transformation whenever you go through anything. This is the very simple teaching the Divine just gave us. How was that experience for you? Please share. And Kristen just shared that she went through some heavy spiritual testing over the weekend where she was close to losing her spiritual journey. She was filled with anger, doubt, and the feelings of being forsaken over her constant financial struggles not being able to provide for the basic needs of food. She was also caught up in a lot of guilt. She knows it's related to not having enough gratitude for all things and even the struggles and spiritual testings still need to purify more and be grateful in every moment. Yeah, it's very, very difficult uh, at this time for a lot of us. And uh, Kristen and I have talked a lot and on uh, general subjects and I won't share our conversations but I can tell you that there are a lot of us that have struggles in many different areas. And when we go into the Divine's heart and we share with them our struggles, immediately we receive blessings. One of the, 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 the teachings, remember, is to serve others in those areas that we're struggling. So if you're struggling in finances, chant, for others that are also struggling in finances love peace and harmony you don't do the blessings you ask love peace and harmony to serve them <clears throat> also find a way to generate uh, income in the real world that can help you to have um, a sense of balance even if it's working at the local 7-eleven if we don't want to then that's pride if it brings in enough to pay the rent then that's a good thing because we can always work around 
our career of choice around the sense of security. Sometimes we have to make a choice that goes against the ego. Many of you don't know, I will tell you now. I drove for delivery service. I may have to go back to it. I chose to leave a very high paying position uh, and I was in an environment in which the, the way in which the product was sold was very unethical. And I left that position uh, and went from about 100,000 a year to about 25 to 30,000 a year. And it was a conscious choice, a very difficult choice, but I did it because I knew that the karma associated with staying in that position was not serving my soul journey. So whenever we make choices to align to our soul's journey, we will always be tested by heaven. At the same time, I had to make a choice to put food on the table. So I chose a food delivery job. Now for a lot of people, that's very demeaning. I actually had to look at my own judgments on those delivery people uh, about, you know, why don't they have an education? Why don't they have a career? Blah, blah, blah. And I realized that I held those kinds of thoughts. Not always, but it certainly was there. And this is how we grow. This is how we quash ego and make choices that are for our betterment and well-being. That's just one example. And it's important to share. As a divine channel and worldwide representative, we all go through suffering. The more you know that I'm just a normal guy that goes through the same suffering as you, the more you'll know that these teachings, these wisdoms work. That's why I'm sitting here. That's why I'm sharing this with you, so that you know that the teachings work. And I will continue to serve as much as I can and, and, uh, and ask the Divine to provide for me because he's my provider anyway. He's all of our provider. So in the teachings uh, of Tao Song and Tao Dance, Master Shah also talks about how the message center is directly related to our connection to heaven. And this connection to heaven is very, very important. It allows us to always make better choices. When we can hear heaven, when we can respond to heaven, we can make better life choices in the now. But if our message center is closed, we tend to respond from our mind, from our suffering. We cannot always make the best choices. And sometimes when we respond from our mind and when we respond from our suffering, we create even more problems for ourselves. One of my current clients does that. She does it a lot. And um, she's learning, though, to not make uh, illogical choices based on the suffering you're in at the moment. She's learning to ask for guidance. But she's had to get hurt a lot before she figured that out. So don't be one of those that gets hurt too much. So Pat JD has shared, thank you, thank you, Master Paul. I felt a bubble of light getting bigger and bigger, moving from my heart to above my head. Wonderful. This is a great practice, and remember to invoke the Divine's love. Very good. Thank you for, for sharing, Esther. Uh, Arma says, enlighten your spiritual journey. Yes, I agree. And thank you, Kristen, for your heartfelt sharing. Yvonne says, my experience with the divine is, I don't want to ask anymore. If I ask, it usually is opposite of what I ask. So I became not asking or ask what the divine wants to bless me. Uh, that is the quickest way. It's really up to the divine whenever it wants to bless or it's not up to me. Okay? So thank you for sharing that, Yvonne. Uh, Leone, thank you for the sharing and honesty. Uh, Kristen and Master Paul. Kristen, how wonderful to come home and be work to be blessed with a live teaching. Welcome, Kristen. Great to see you. And you're welcome, Da'ai. <clears throat> so yeah, so I want to talk, uh, mention something that Yvonne just talked about, which is uh, I don't always ask the Divine. I just let the Divine choose. There is certainly a value in that. The teaching that came through the divine flow was when you are in any form of suffering and you catch it, which is the key, immediately stop, visualize yourself in the heart of the divine. Remember, you're always part of the heart of the divine. Turn on your treasures. Ask God to bless you for that specific set of conditions, to change your mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs so that you can make a better set of choices. Oftentimes, those better set of choices do not come in that moment. And it's good to teach yourself that. You know, good to say, I don't know where the solution is going to come from, but I just know that the divine will deliver it. And then six hours later, 
an email comes which gives you the answer. Eight hours later, a friend calls and they have the exact and perfect uh, guidance that you need for your solution. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> so this is how the divine works. And we want to utilize the divine. We must remember that we are never overburdening God. We are God. Uh, and when I say that, I mean we are of God. So God does not judge us. God does not say, I, I love my left arm, but I don't like my right arm all that much, especially when it thinks this, this, and that. God does not think that way. We are all created to be uh, avenues by which the divine experiences everything. That's why there is the yin-yang world because there is both sides and all the darkness and all the light are all still inside of our beloved creator. So there is no judgment. There is just the experience. And when we realign ourselves to the heart of the divine, we can have such a, a much better uh, go of it, if you will. So I'm willing to answer any questions that you guys might have at this time. We have about 10 minutes left. I have time for probably one or two questions, uh, if you have any. And then I'm also going to offer a blessing uh, for everybody on the line using my Open Your Heart and Soul Calligraphy. This is, uh, Master Shah has only made one of these, and it is extraordinary. The power in this calligraphy is absolutely extraordinary, and I will do some tracing for everybody on the line to offer you a blessing for opening your heart and soul. Very, very blessed healing. Okay? So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. And uh, I will offer this blessing now because it usually takes a minute or two for the questions to come in <coughs> or not <laughs> Jyota I will share later Master Paul once integrated with very powerful the forgiveness from divine it allows more love in my heart yes uh, what I need now please advise divine okay so open your heart to receive this blessing from opening heart and soul calligraphy I will connect You can make a financial blessing request if you would like. Love or relationship. Clearing of blockages from the job. Give you 10 more seconds. Blessing from the heart and soul calligraphy, the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures. Begin. <coughs> I die, 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 die. <coughs> Remember to ask for forgiveness while you're receiving. For whatever it is you're requesting, forgiveness, especially during a blessing, can enhance the blessing dramatically. Da I 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 da Die, 
die, die, die, die, die, die, die, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the Kyle, the saints, animals, temples, souls, and treasures in this calligraphy for your service. I will offer a soul reading as to the value of this service <clears throat> for each of you. And then we'll see what some of the comments are. This is the soul. Of the lead heaven's animal who has been transmitted to this calligraphy. I ordered legions of my teams to go out to serve all of those <coughs> watching. There was a great deal of blockages related to lifetimes of wrong service to the mission, lifetimes of suffering related to separation from the divine. There was a great deal of mindsets that had been held onto for centuries that were related to self-righteousness. These and many more blockages in the heart centers of all those watching have been removed in accordance with what the Divine has allowed us to do. You are all extremely blessed to have been able to receive this blessing. A word of note to those thinking, how can a blessing of this nature occur? in such a short time. God does not operate on time. God operates in each moment. And if in that moment a calling has been made and approved, then blessings can occur in an instant. Time is irrelevant for those that serve the Creator. This is the leader of the heavens animals that came to serve at this time. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I didn't get to see uh, <clears throat> what that soul looked like <clears throat> but it's a very powerful soul, like a general almost. It's a very, very powerful soul. So it's a very, very beautiful blessing. Um, thank you for the sharing, everyone. I'm kind of reading through them quickly. <clears throat> and welcome Edward Chong for joining. 
Neoni, thank you for the, uh, the comments. And we thank the countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, and treasures in this calligraphy. They're the ones doing the service. <coughs> the blessed who have been given um, uh, authority to ask them to serve, and, and they're so generously do so. So today's message, uh, today's teaching was on the message center, how to keep it more open. And to reiterate, remember that you and the Divine's hearts are never separate. The Divine created your message center, your heart center. You are always in the Divine's heart center. <clears throat> so when we find ourselves in trouble in any way, shape or form, mentally, emotionally, in any way, stop. Bring yourself back to the heart of the Divine. Ask all your treasures to turn on. Chant a beautiful song, love, peace and harmony, anything that carries a higher frequency. Chant Master Shah's name if you need to. And the souls and the light will come. They will melt those blockages, which might only lift you a few points, but their points are higher than where you were. So wherever you come out, you're going to be in a better position to receive the solutions that you're looking for. If you try to find the solutions by staying where you're at, you're going to make choices that are not in alignment with the highest love, and those could create you know, more problems. So let us remember the Divine's teaching on how to stay in alignment with the Divine and how to keep our message center open. It truly was a very pure and simple teaching. So I'm so grateful for that from the Divine. So as always, I encourage you to please share the video when we're complete here. I'm very grateful for you coming tomorrow. Um, I, I'm, I'm considering doing a different energy center. I might do the five major ones. Maybe I'll do uh, Snow Mountain and then Lower Dantian and then we'll do the Zhu Chao uh, Third Eye. Maybe we'll just do a message and energy center every day this week. I do want to invite you to the Honolulu event that's happening this uh, coming weekend. It is an open spiritual channels. It's $125 um, and you get a free guest pass. So that's for uh, two full days. Basically, it's about $30 a day with a guest. So it's quite affordable. And you just go to Master Shah's website and uh, look under the events and the date. Uh, you can look under the date of... Um, the 10th, 11th, and 12th. So it's a free Friday evening, you can attend that, and then 11th and 12th is the, the one you honor a little bit for. One of the unique things about it is Master Orlena, uh, who is probably uh, one of the most powerful calligraphy teachers on the planet today. She's received the highest, highest uh, possible abilities to serve through the calligraphy. And um, she'll be doing uh, calligraphy for opening people's spiritual channels. So if you've wanted to open them more, I encourage you to, uh, to attend that event. You could have uh, extraordinary opportunities there. I'm kind of looking forward to it myself. I, I will probably take advantage of one of the calligraphy blessings from my spiritual channels. So I want to thank you all for understanding. Yvonne, we can chat afterwards. Um, I see you asked several questions. I don't have the time to answer them now, but we can chat. So I don't want to deny you uh, the requests you've made. I appreciate your service, Yvonne. I thank all of you for coming. Uh, if you're not familiar, if you haven't already followed me specifically to live stream, at the end of this, when it stops, a little follow button will pop up above it. You can click that and then you'll know when I go live. Um, tell your friends. I look forward to serving you. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>